it's not very often that we get good Superman stories uh, put out in Collected Edition. And over the last month, we've actually had two with Camelot Falls here in Deluxe Edition and Superman Space Age in Deluxe Edition. So I'm very happy about this. This is a wonderful Superman story. It's a nice one because, I mean, so many Superman stories that they do publish are just his origin. And this is not it. Kurt Busiek and Carlos Pacheco really hit it out of the park with this. Um, and it does cover most of the run here with... Uh, Superman 654 through 659, 662 through 664, 667, and Annual 13. Now, oddly, there are missing issues that are orphaned in this. I don't know why they did that. Maybe they just like these deluxe editions to be a certain size. I don't know, uh, but they did. Um, and so you get a nice little cover on the inside. I love these deluxe editions. They're kind of perfect. Very light uh, hardcover. And... Superman uh, is visited by like this past magician type guy and he comes back and he says hey Superman what you're doing here fighting all these battles you're actually making evil stronger and they're and they're going to open up and actually destroy the world and there's this whole future history which he tells Superman about uh, where everything's been destroyed uh, and everybody's dead basically. Uh, and it is uh, his fault at the end of the day. A little bit of a JLA crossover uh, within those elements. And that's it. Lana Lang, uh, during this uh, time, well, not during the future time, but during this is actually uh, now the president of LexCorp. So she's working for uh, that. And uh, and Superman and Lois Lane are, you know, having a good relationship, which is nice to see a married couple in comics. Uh, they don't really do that very often. So there's a monster that shows up. The monster's uh, pretty awesome. He, he comes back at the end. Uh, he, he disappears for a while, comes back at the end uh, to close things out, bring things full circle. And Superman actually stops uh, this guy, uh, this wizard, uh, from, of course, uh, trying to stop him and letting bad things happen uh, because of that, quote, future. He's like, you know what? We're going to change the future. We have to do everything we can at the end of the day. So it's pretty inspiring. There's a, a one-off issue in the middle of this that's uh, about a woman who has faith uh, that God is going to protect her. It's a very nice story. I really love as well and the art's so nice and consistent all the way through Carlos Pacheco does a wonderful job it's just like this is iconic good DC comics right here so as a Superman story this is uh, one of the ones I would absolutely recommend for people um I'd get I'd maybe get John Byrne stuff over this first uh but this is up there for me as one of the better Superman stories so this is a 8.5 out of 10 good stuff and I hope you enjoyed the review hit the like and subscribe button and we'll be back soon <laughs> Thank you.